trouble in mind Babe, I'm so blue Yes, but I won't Won't be blue always You know the sun Sun gonna shine In my back door someday That two, two nineteen pacify my mind. Cause I'm troubling mine, and today I'm so blue. be blue always you know the sun sun gonna shine in my back door someday hi there I'm Ernie Hawkins and I'm very happy to present to, to you today a lesson on uh, the ragtime and blues guitar of the great Big Bill Brunzi. Uh, uh, I want to remind you that uh, along with these good lessons that I'm teaching, we have uh, files on the original recordings of these songs. And uh, I, I hope that you get a chance to go to these files and really listen to uh, Brunzi's uh, actual guitar playing, which we'll be talking about for this whole lesson. Before we get started on our first song, which is called Guitar Shuffle, I'd like to make sure that everybody's uh, on the same page as far as tuning. So let's get tuned, and I'm in just standard tuning here, tuned to pitch, and uh, the first string is the high E. And your B string. and your G string. D string. A string. And finally your low E. Okay, so now we're just going to jump right in and get started with Brunzi's Guitar Shuffle.
I chose uh, this particular song because uh, it helps, it's going to hopefully help me illustrate what's most important about Brunzi's style. Basically, that would be his right hand. There's a lot of good stuff going on in the left hand, but really who Brunzi is, we find out through listening to and paying attention, studying his right hand. As far as I can tell, for the most part, Brunzi didn't use finger picks or thumb picks. I'm using one because I think I can get, uh, I can approximate, I can get closer to his sound using a thumb pick. Uh, Brunzi is a very, very solid, heavy uh, bass beat that he's getting with his thumb. And he usually just uses, for the most part, one finger, although I've seen him throw a, another finger in. It sounds like a little bit. His style isn't really that standardized, but the most important thing is getting that really deep, heavy thump on the bass. Any way you can do this, do it. If you, if you can do it just by, without using a thumb pick, and just by hitting that, 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 that bass and getting a thump, or uh, uh, using a thumb pick and sometimes damping, what we call a dead thumb style, which seems as though Brunzi does sometimes, damping those basses so that you can get a thump, a thump kind of sound. Now for me, I can get that thump sound best with a thumb pick. Play this, this music any way you want, picks, thumb picks, whatever, to get the kind of sound, for two reasons, to get this, the kind of sound that you want to get when you hear Brunzi, that beautiful, that deep rhythm, that heavy thumping, deep rhythm coming out of the, out of the thumb. And uh, so uh, anyway, anyway, the other important thing when you're playing Brunzi or any of this stuff is to have a lot of fun. This, this music is, tr is just great fun to play. It just rolls along. It's not real complicated left hand, but, but the important thing is to slowly try to develop that, that thumb thumping. And the way I do it is to dampen the bass either by lifting uh, my left hand and just cutting off that bass or using my heel, the heel of my uh, right hand, to, to, make, to get that thump. And so as far as I can tell, it's kind of unconscious, but I'm doing a little bit of each. So what I would suggest you do is just play that uh, G7 chord. Get that thumb thumping and throw in a treble. See this this the, one one of the advantages of this of this style of playing the single bass style of playing is you don't really have to worry about moving basses up and down and, and getting complicated basses in place. You just basically usually have one bass and sometimes I mean if you really listen closely uh, a lot of times it's just the low low bass whether he's playing a G chord or a C chord. Play that C bass if you like, but sometimes he's just hitting a chord. On the, on, the, on the low bass strings. Like when he's in a C chord, he's just, uh, I don't want to be hitting that G string, but he's just kind of hitting some strings and not just even one single bass, but lots of times he is hitting that one single bass. And um, that's where the art and the style of this playing uh, uh, lies. And uh, as we move along through these, uh, teaching these songs, different songs, different keys, you're going to hopefully get an idea of how this bass works. Once you get that bass kind of established and down, everything really falls into place. And he's either just pinching a note with the bass, so that if we did this, we just pinched a note and played a bass, pinched a bass and played a bass like this, pinch, bass, pinch, bass, pinch, bass, pinch, bass. If you started out doing this, sped it up a little bit. You're going to start to get a little bit of how that, of how that works. Now, now sometimes I also dampen that second string with my finger so that it doesn't ring too much, so you don't get too much noise. Uh, it, it, in this style, Brunzi is very, very precise. And, uh, and he's, a, he's a, in effect, in, in some ways, a very clean player. He doesn't get a lot of 
noise coming out of the guitar and he's playing the, those strings very cleanly. And, but the main thing is that deep, deep thumping bass, clean treble, and uh, that, that kind of smooth rhythm. And uh, to get it, start out either pinching or playing notes in between. Or doing a little bit of both. So the song starts out with, uh, I'm kind of simplifying a little bit, I'm just pinching and playing a bass, hitting that high third third fret of the high E string, the G note. So it's G7. Worry about the, the little bass licks uh, in a minute. Let's, let's just go through some of these chords. It's a G7. C. Now, uh, as I said, a lot of times when he's playing C, it sounds to me, it's kind of indistinct, but it sounds to me as if he's playing that, that low G bass most of the time. So from G7. what he's playing on the treble a lot but he doesn't really ever change that thumping bass that's the that's the rhythm the steady deep deep rhythm that runs through uh, Brunzi's playing and of course a lot of other players that play in this this kind of single bass style he starts out the song with a bass and then two two uh, pinches bass da, 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 da. so it's a kind of a And he does basically the same thing on the C with the open E. Uh, excuse me, the third fret. So he hits a bass, two pinches on that G string. Then does this a lot. Pinches, hits a treble, pinches on the open E string, and hits the treble on the on the fifth on the third fret by itself. So it's pinch and pinch and pinch. basically the same thing he's doing in the C. So he's pinching twice and then hitting a note in between. And then the bass. So it's pinch, pinch, and bass. Pinch, pinch. Okay, now every once in a while, and particularly in the beginning of the, of the recording that we're using for this, he does a little bass flip. On the G, he does it uh, by sliding from the B flat to the B note, that's the first fret to the second fret of your, of your A string. So use your G chord, and what he does is he slides from the first fret to the second fret. When he hits that second fret, then he does this little thumb drag that Mississippi, Arkansas, Texas players do all the time. Even uh, uh, East Coast players do it sometimes, and sometimes players from Alaska do it. And it's like this. First fret, second fret. When he hits that second fret, he drags his thumb so that he kind of hits that fifth string and lands on the, the next string and, and just keeps his thumb like right on the uh, right on the string. And if you're doing it without a thumb pick, it's the same thing. And uh, so you want to get a kind of nice clean sound out of that. 
So it starts out that way. And then he's got a little pickup that he does on the C sometimes, and he has vari variations of doing this. And uh, uh, what he does is G7. And he goes to this F note, which is the third fret of the D string, the fourth string, with his thumb. And then with his thumb, he goes to the E note on the C chord, and then immediately jumps up and hits that B string. So we're, it's, it's the same rhythm. And so it's a pickup. It's a little series of pickup notes that he uses for, for this part of the song. He doesn't use it all the time, but it's a great little thing to learn and to throw in, and it really jumps, jumps up the rhythm. So, uh, and then he goes into the, the, the part of the song that he repeats every time. There are some variations on this part where it goes from G to C, G to C, G to C, which we're going to pick up in a minute. But then he goes into the, uh, the, the, the sort of uh, almost like a short bridge, a second half of the song that is basically almost the same, same thing every time. It goes to an F, pinches it twice, or sometimes... He syncopates it, either pinch, pinch, or pinch in. But remember, the bass is going to remain the same. Okay, so I'm going to show you this, this part on the F uh, that goes from the F to, to the C and slides up that C to a D. Starts out on F on the second string, same bass, low bass, pinch. And then the third fret of your second string, so it's first fret. Third fret, first fret. So he slides up, comes up from the first fret, second, third fret, fourth fret, fourth fret to the first string. goes up to this high note on the C, then moves it up to this A, down to the G. And he's really not, when he goes up to this D, he's not playing a distinct bass, but he might be keeping that thump going. Open E, D7, G7, C. One more time. So just to go through that one sequence once, sounds like this. So before we go on to a couple of the other little variations and parts of the songs that, 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 that he comes up with this, I'm going to stop right here. And for this first part of the song, really the meat of the song, we're going to uh, go to the split screen, slow it down real, real, real slow, go to the split screen and uh, play it over and over a few times.
So that's the first part. I threw in a little variation, and, and uh, Brunzi often does throw in variations. He doesn't play anything r really more or less the same. He's, he's winging it. He's out there improvising a lot. And, uh, you know, around a, a, a more or less stable kind of center. Uh, one thing I did uh, improvising or changing up a little bit on that before we move to the next part was this. <laughs> that is, is, is uh, if, you, if, you, if you look at my right hand, it's just a, a, it's kind of a, of, a, of a little bit of a, a shuffle like, like rhythm. A pinch, uh, a, uh, a note by itself on the treble. And the bass remains sta stable, same bass. Talk about that lick uh, uh, as 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 we go through different different songs that he's playing because he uses uh, a lot of these little right hand tricks a lot through different uh, through different songs. He has ability to p be able to play these things unbelievably fast and clean and uh, with great rhythm and loud and powerful. A, a terrific terrific style of playing. But when you listen to it, you know obviously worked on this style for many many years. And he really had it honed and uh, deep and it's uh, it's terrific so there are a few little variations that he uh, that he uses uh, to kind of break things up the first one um, if you go and look at the right hand let's see Here it is. He hits a bass, and uh, you can use your thumb on that bass or a finger on that bass, whatever uh, is convenient for you. We didn't have that many uh, films of Brunsy, so I don't know exactly how he's doing it, but usually I just hit, like hit a thumb and it kind of frees up my, the fingers on my left hand. And what he does is he hits that thumb, and then he pinches the second fret the A note, second fret of the G string, the third string, that would be the A note, slides it up to the third fret, and then hits the second string open. So it sounds like. So it's bass, 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 and bass. goes up to that high G. Hits the first string open. Does the same thing, excuse me, the second time it goes to the seventh. So it's so it's a bass, second fret, slide pinches the bass with the bass, slides it out, pinches the second string open. Hits that by itself. Hits the bass. Then the first string open. Also in between basses. Then he pinches the second time through down on that uh, seventh note, the first fret of the first string. It sounds like. cool run. Then he goes to the C, hits it quickly once, and then does this. And it's kind of, I think it's a triplet. So what he's doing is he's quickly sliding up, just, just as quick as can be. And he may use his finger for this, he may use a thumb and a finger, uh, use whatever keeps it flowing for you so it's he stops the bass entirely when he does this because it's moving so fast so 
So the last time it's last time he does it, he he's on the fifth fret of that second string, slides it down to the C note, to the A to the G. So it's It's a chord there. Just do the split screen of just this first little variation and then uh, move on. Okay, just one more variation to show you on a guitar shuffle, and this one's a little bit tricky. It starts out with the bass and kind of rolls along here. Starts out, of course, on the G note, and if you look at the left hand, what he does is, so this time he doesn't, as far as to my ears, he doesn't do any thumb dragging. He just hits the, hits the low bass in the third fret, slides up from the second, fir, uh, first, uh, to the second fret of the fifth string, like that. And then immediately he just hits the open B string and then the G note on the third fret of the, of the high E. So it's, excuse me. So it's, he hits the bass, fifth string. That's the first half of it. The second half, it doesn't go down to the low bass, just goes again to the fifth string. So it's fifth string. So it's open uh, E string. And then it does a very similar, almost exactly the same thing, but in C. So he hits the C bass, slides up on the uh, fourth string, then hits the second string, first fret, like, as in a C chord. So it's. When it comes down on that uh, open E string, he hits an open A string to go back into the into the G chord and repeat it. So it's.
back to the F. Okay, so this is a little bit tricky because he, he uh, to me, because after hitting this bass run, when he hits the treble both on the, on the C and the G chord, he doesn't hit a bass. When he hits the da 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 until on the C, excuse me, so it's just the treble by itself, excuse me. Then he hits the low bass. Like that. So this is a little tricky part. It's the, it's the, the last piece of the puzzle. And uh, I'm going to try to slow this down, play it through a few times on the split screen. Play along with me. Okay, so there are basically three parts to this song. The main part, the first part, and the, the two variations. I'm going to try to go through these as A, B, C, A, B, C a couple of times, as slow as and steady as I can on the split screen play along. 